Hey guys, today I just want to make a very quick video here showing some cool things you can do with your HTC One X after you have been unlocked the bootloader and rooted it and I've made videos about that, how we can go ahead and do that. So after you've done that, that will basically unlock your device, as you can hear, unlock the bootloader to do a lot of crazy things and you should also be careful over here so you don't F up your phone. But I've tried out one of the best uh, tweaks and hacks that you can get right now uh, for your HD One X. It is uh, from a guy called Leadroid or yeah he is calling it Leadroid Tweaks. Uh, if you go ahead and open up here, I've installed it here on my HTC One X over here and you get a ton of new things you can go ahead and and tweak with your Android smartphone. So this is version 1.0 at the moment. He is recently updated from 0.5 to 1.0. So the first cool things you can do is you have some battery options and some clock options. So if you go ahead and go here uh, to the battery, first you have the battery textile. Um, you can see a, a new battery logo there at the top. Uh, you can see that my, my, my battery status uh, as you can see right there. Uh, you can see it says like 89%. You can see that I've removed the battery icon. Uh, but if you just go ahead and show it here, uh, if you just go ahead over here and uh, remove this one, hide the text, it will remove that one. And then I just uh, made so I can see the battery icon uh, again there because I did actually remove it. Uh, but now it's back. Um, so uh, also you can go ahead here, uh, yeah, hide the battery icon, awesome. Show MI. UI battery bar so you can see one thing there at the top uh, and now let's just go ahead and change the size so we can go ahead and see it. This seems to be something that uh, many MI UI phones have uh, so 25 that's pretty big but then you can see one bar here at the top uh, so as you can see right now it will it will go down to zero but right now it's kind of high because I have like 98% so if you want a bar up there that's going down it uses as in like MI UI you can go ahead and fix that stuff um, I don't like that so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove it um, then we also have some other things um, if you go ahead and uh, pick this battery textile again uh, regular and let's remove the battery icons. Let's say you don't want to have the battery icon, but you want that cool little text up there, but you don't like the green color. Then you can pick an automatic color uh, or a static color. Let's go ahead and pick a static color over here. Let's see, we always want it to be in the color uh, blue. Yeah, blue, blue. Uh, then you can have it in blue up there if you want. Uh, right now, my camera has some problems. Uh, the blue color is turning out be another color in the camera let's go ahead and pick red red is probably a bad one but then you also could have custom so uh, you can have the regular color uh, you can have a charging color and then the medium level color if you want to go ahead and do those uh, badass things uh, but uh, let's go ahead and pick uh, let's go ahead and uh, click on this one over here automatic color uh, and if you just go ahead and go down here you have the MIUI battery bar if you want to have that one instead if you just go ahead and go back now um, you can also see that we have some clock options so if you just go ahead and tap on the clock uh, clock style so we can have the clock used as uh, in the Apple iPhone uh, let's see here I have my Apple iPhone over here so as you see on my Apple iPhone I have the clock there in the middle you can also go ahead and do that uh, right here center that's that simple to do it if you have AM PM you can go ahead and disable that uh, the clock color if you also want to go ahead and change that you can go ahead and do so very very easy uh, yeah and that's the battery and the clock options uh, and then they also have the enable landscape rotation and enable unlock animation unlock animation I'm not quite sure what that is but I assume that you can go ahead and uh, change the animation I do know that you can that uh, but landscape rotation that's basically so you can go ahead and uh, use your phone like this now ain't that pretty cool I don't think this is uh, available in the beginning but I, I gotta say that that's quite nice actually that's it's quite nice uh, if you like that more so that's a quick little thing that you can go ahead and do over there if you just go ahead and open it up again And of course, you can go ahead and disable it if you if you don't like that. Uh, if you just go ahead uh, here, we got some other alternatives. If you just go ahead and scroll down here to the other side, 
you can see this is one of my favorite feature we can enable the Android open uh, the open source project uh, the, that lock screen the ICS lock screen so as you see right now I'm having the sense lock screen at the moment okay oh wait a sec let's go ahead and turn it down a little bit again you can see that I'm running on sense here uh, if you don't like that one if you want the Android open source uh, lock screen then we can go ahead and enable that we have a bunch of different settings with how we can change it and then also you have the volume control settings here you can customize the buttons and unlocking here you can actually unlock it with your home button or the menu button or the back button now I don't think this works with the capacity buttons down here uh, I did try it out but it would be pretty awesome if it did work to unlock it with this button up here in the front but I haven't got that to work uh, but if we go ahead and enable that uh, you need to go ahead and restart it and you need to have root access for that because the first time you're going to do it, it's going to ask you for enable root and blah blah or my I mean or I mean like grant the user access for that. So use something that you might want to know over there. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, it has started up right now, and you can see that I'm running on the ICS lock screen, the stock one, as you're going to get on the Nexus one, and you can quickly go ahead. Wait a sec. Did it work? Wait a sec. No, it didn't work. Uh, but you get a quick access to the camera. If you never have tried that out before. Wait a sec. It seems like I'm running on a another another camera app right now. Seems like I'm using the ICS. No, wait a sec. Where the hell is my... Okay, whatever. Uh, let's just go ahead and go back. Uh, put it down here again. If you think this is annoying that it's uh, changing mode like this, of course you can uh, disable it. Uh, very, very simple. Um, if you don't like that, if you only want to use your phone like this. Now, if you just go ahead and load up the app again one more time. Uh, we have some more custom tweaks, I think. But that's that's the favorite one uh, on the, with this little zip file that you you just can go ahead leader tweaks. That's the tweak that you can just go ahead and um, install using the Clockwork Mod Touch. As I've already made a video on how we can go ahead and install. Uh, but under open source lock screen, I'm gonna use that, and then you can go ahead and hide the time, hide the date, do some custom things there with the uh, lock screen. Um, if you just go ahead and go over here. Wait a sec. There was one thing that I forgot to show you. Um, I think it was in yeah notification bar caption if you want some custom text when you get, scroll down uh, up here you can have that let's say you want the text yo dog what's up my, my nigga or something I'm not sure you may want to have that I'm not sure okay uh, yo dog my nigga okay there we go uh, let's go ahead uh, you need to apply that yes yes of course I want it's going to restart the notification bar up there in the top. There we go. Um, and now when you go down, you can see the text. Yo dog or something. Oh, two dog, my nigga. Okay, I need to, I need to change that. Um, but that's pretty cool. And that you can go ahead and have that if you want to. Uh, and then also if we go here, uh, let's see, where were we? Yeah, um, you have some miscellaneous things here. Volume steps, if you don't like the volume steps right now. Um, auto backlight brightness. Uh, and then what else? Uh, yeah, we have some R, R small things here. Long press home action. Also one of my things that I did change to like Google Chrome. Um, let's go ahead and tap on custom over here. Go ahead and change this. Recent apps. That's pretty clever to have. Okay, wait a sec. It doesn't want to work. Uh, but I, I have it a custom, so it will open up Google Chrome when I hold this one in. Long press home action. Okay, let's just restart the app. Some messed up thing. Could be a bug. And yeah, also that they have changed uh, this thing. When you go ahead and tap on this one. But you can also obviously tweak that thing. Uh, if you want to go ahead and do so. Um, 
So if you just go ahead and hit long press. Wait a sec. Okay, whatever. I need to go ahead and try to see if I can fix that. But you can have actually the wrong... I got it to work before, earlier. Uh, long press home action, I, I just had it to Chrome Beta. So when you hold this one in uh, for a long time, it will open up that. So just a very quick video showing off Leadroid tweaks here on my ETC One X smartphone. If you have any other more awesome cool tweaks that you want me to check out or if you like them yourself please let me know uh, but uh, if you like the video you can like it also bye bye